You know, action is the greatest truth there is. There are a lot of people who talk about stuff. On and on and on. I have a friend who's been working on this business for the last decade. No product, no service, no customers, none. But they're working on this business. It's, it's kind of interesting how that seems to be common. Question for you. Let me put it down in the comments. What is holding you back from taking action? Just drop whatever the holdup is, whatever the problem or the hindrance or the burden or whatever it is. Just put that in the comments. Once you get to the point where you can take action, you can really see some things happen. But there's another hurdle there. If you're not accustomed to taking action, and typically things can get a little hanky there because one of the things I'm seeing online, and it, it, it gets to be somewhat distressing at times, is how many people who are not earning $50,000 a year from their present job or 80000 a year from their present job or 100000 from their present job or 250000 from their present job fully expect to make six figures online within a matter of weeks or months. Fully expect that. And it's just crazy because when you say, look, Jerome, we're going to say your name's Jerome today. Jerome, I know that you got this passion and you got this dream and you've got these urges to do these things, but baby boy, you're not prepared. Would you pay you six figures as you are now? No, you wouldn't. So why do you expect someone else to do that? Simple question. Simple logic. But it kind of just goes out the window. For those of you who want some free shit, yes, free shit, you won't get some one thing free, you're gonna get two things free. Recently I've become sponsored by Audible. So you go below, you hit that link, and you follow the directions below. If you sign up for the Audible free deal, I will give you one free ebook or audio book out of my store. So that's two free books kind of hard to go wrong there so that's the deal go ahead hit the link the links below and you can make it happen all right Jerome big big question what is holding you back from making your first thousand dollars online because you must make your first thousand dollars before you make your first hundred thousand I would assume I don't think you can leapfrog over the 100,000 drone to, well, leapfrog over the 1,000 drone to get to the 100,000. I don't know. Well, you know. Now, someone could possibly come up with something really spiffy and they could conceivably come out of the gate and do really well and make 100,000 or make a million or make two million. And there's a word for these people, unicorns. There's another word, atypical. Another word, special. Another word, different. Another word, better than you. That's something else, too. I'm seeing many people have a problem if someone displays attributes and abilities that are not on, quote, a football field or a basketball court. You know, it's cool for someone to have six skills in an athletic endeavor. But if you have sick money-making skills and say you're 22 years old and you have the ability to make enough money to buy yourself a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, and a mansion at 22. There are people online doing that for real, for real. People seem to hate those folks. Why, you think you're better than other people because you got a Ferrari. You ain't shit, and your kids are gonna grow up to hate you. I mean, seriously, Jerome, I see this all over the internet landscape. I mean, it's just it's just crazy. Then I started to educate myself in 2015 on a different level. 
I did what I urge you to do. If you're not gonna spend money with me and get my courses and stuff, cool. Spend money with someone else. Go out and gain yourself an education. So I spent money, about two, about 12 grand, I added it up. And I gotta say the money was well spent because it enabled me to understand you better, Jerome. See, I was under this misconception, Jerome, that you wanted to start a business. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. You don't want to start a business. You just want to make money. You don't want to work 60, 78 hours a week. You just want to make money with the least resistance possible, which is not bad. There's just one problem with that, Jerome. The shit's damn near impossible. If you are making a lot of money, usually you are contributing a lot of something to the world somewhere. You might have a writer. I'll, you know, I'll give you my example of my first book. I spent three months writing the book, but I spent 10 years getting the education and the information and the skill sets to write the book. So there was a lot of time that went into that. And many of you bought the book, thanks. I was able to live for a few years without having to work. But, Jerome, there was 10 years of hard work that went into the information gathering, the ability to sit down and break down the business plan, hours and hours and hours of buying storage units, hours and hours and hours of marketing on Craigslist, using eBay and it. I mean, hours just, no, might as well say months if you want to be factual about it, not just hours, days, months, years. A lot of time, Jerome, a lot of time. So when you see someone who is better than you, and there's nothing wrong with someone being better than you, Jerome, it is not time to put on your hat of hate and disenfranchisement if that's a word. It's really not the way to approach that. And I have this expression, Jerome. Next time you see someone online and these feelings well up in you and you just want to get angry and mad and start saying, well, you know, the reason they're there is because their daddy set them up. Or ask yourself this question. Why are you angry? Why, if someone else has the ability to do some, does that make you angry, upset, or sad. So the next time you feel those feelings, whatever they are, Jerome, go ahead and put your hat on that says, I am a relater, not a hater. I'll give you an example of how I use this technique. There's a woman by the name of Laura Roder, Stroder, I think Roder. Google backstage pass to Twitter. It came out years and years ago. So I was watching her and Lewis House on do a video, they were talking. And Laura at the time probably was 21, 22, and she said these words. Drone, I mean, it, 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 I started, those feelings started to come up in me. They just did. Yeah, you know, we made $30,000 in about four hours. Now, I want you to understand, Drone, I had worked my ass off to make $30,000 in a month. I'm talking 60, 70, 80 hour weeks. This girl was, like I said, 21, 22 at the time. It's like she didn't she live long enough to get enough experience. I was just sitting there and all those feelings, I was that's that's how I know how those hated feelings come up. And I was just like, what the fuck? What what kind of, who the fuck is she? Then I put my hat on. I am not a hater. I'm a relater. So I calmed down, went to my special place and meditated Jerome. And I came back and I started to research her and I started to listen to her and I started to recognize the things that she was doing and understand the technique, the methodology. So it's like, damn, this woman is smart. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing, Laura. I see what you're doing, I see what you're doing. And then I started to emulate because I'm not a hater, I'm a relater. And um, started to make some money because I did not hate. I began to relate, Jerome. And if you're finding yourself getting mad at these people and becoming an internet troll and just hating on folks because of your lack of action, ask yourself, 
on this day, whatever this day may be when you're watching this, where are you going to be next year? This time next year. And if you're in the same hate posture this time next year, you have no one to blame but your own damn self. Seriously, Jerome, I'm telling you this to you because I'm the brother you never had. I'm your BFF. I'm your bud. I'm, look, you can have the world, but you're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to put forth some energy and effort. You're going to have to apply yourself. Now, something else, Jerome, let me just give it to you like this. You will apply yourself with rigor. You'll apply yourself vigorously. And in the beginning, you're going to see all of this effort, and you're going to see about that much reward. So the effort's going to be big as all outdoors, and the reward's going to be enough that can fit into a tablespoon. And you're like, what the fuck? This is all out of whack. And it is. It is out of whack. It is completely out of proportion. Now, see, this is the thing that someone that hasn't been there can't tell you. As you go ahead and just keep punching and punching and punching and punching and doing your thing, one day the proportions will flip. You'll have like a teaspoon of effort and you will make a truckload of reward. But you got to break through. You got to keep punching. You got to keep digging. You got to keep grinding. You gotta, whatever you have to do, you got to keep doing it until you reach that point. Now, Jerome, I can't tell you what day that will be. <laughs> I can't. Uh, as a person who started five businesses that absolutely failed because I was uneducated, because there were people better than me, uh, there were people doing things I wasn't doing, and once I became a relater instead of a hater, I started to become successful. Because see, Jerome, when you're hating, it blinds you. You can't you can't see something that's right there because the hate it just makes your eyes all small. You're like looking like that, looking like a troll. And you are hurting yourself. You are really, really, really presenting the worst of yourself. And how can you get the best of the world when you present the worst of yourself? I mean, I've had people who hated on me, uh, spread around malicious lies, and they spend more time talking about me, and I don't even know who they are. I made a pact with myself, I think 2012, that I wasn't going to participate in the hate parade. I wasn't going to participate in the animosity gang. Now, many of the people that were doing that stuff, their businesses took hits. You know why? They spent more time on bullshit than they spent on reward. That's life, man. I'm telling you, Jerome, the minute that you begin to really, really, really focus on reward, building and creating. At some point you'll see, let's see, that's that's the that's the thing that our people get um confused. Uh the shit's supposed to be hard, Jerome. It's supposed to be hard. It's not supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be challenging. It's supposed to be difficult. And if you watch this video, Jerome, and this time, 364 days in the future, you stop being a hater, Jerome, you start being a relator, and you've made your first thousand dollars or maybe your first thirty thousand dollars online. You are preparing yourself for a profitable future. But as long as you're looking for shortcuts, I don't want to do anything. I'm trying to quote, work smart, not hard, plug and play, turnkey solutions. You are forever going to be chasing your tail like a dog. You will forever, Jerome, be that person who's going to spend four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 years reading every book, researching every forum, watching every video while not making one thin dollar because you got to apply yourself and once again for those of you who want to apply yourself i'm going to give you well audible since they're sponsoring this channel is going to give you one free audiobook 
and I'm gonna give you another free audio book. Now, once again, doesn't matter what books, you can pick what you want, but if you do not take that knowledge, and if you don't apply it, Jerome, it doesn't matter that it's free. It could be a million dollars because if you don't use it, if you don't put it out there, if you don't apply yourself, it's worthless. It's absolutely worthless to you. So just something for you to chew on, something for you to think about, Jerome. If you want to start some, build something, be something, take action because action is the greatest truth there is. And for those of you who want to take advantage of your free audio books, go below the video and there'll be a little link. Tap the link, follow the directions, and we will make it happen.